In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite little passing concepts. It's really something that I think is very effective, um, specifically from the short side of the bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. And I actually want to go over a, uh, a little money play that I like to use out of the gun bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know, I already I have released an entire um, year-long uh, gun bunch offensive guide. It's only it's a one-time purchase of $15, and you get my bunch guide all year long with all the updates, all of the new route combinations. Whenever something gets patched, we update the guide for you 100% uh, for free. So literally one time purchase 15 bucks. If you want to get the gun bunch offense, there's a link in the description below. Today I'm going to be going over a setup that I really should be using more in my offense and that's the verticals play in it's a little bit different than you might think. Uh, what I'm going to be uh, recommending is kind of a setup that is really specific uh, to the short side of the gun bunch. So I'm actually going to come out in a, a flip, uh, a flipped version of the bunch. And you see here, this is what we've got. Now, this is going to be a really good setup for several different coverages. I'm going to show it first against the Mike Blitz 3 Meta Mabel coverage, and then we'll kind of move and transition throughout the video. Now, again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and let's just dive right in. So, gun bunch, verticals to the short side. So, our bunch is to the short side of the field as you can see right here the bunch is to the left and the ball is on the left hash mark if we the, if the ball was on the right hash mark then we would un, we would come out into play normal okay now all we're going to do from a setup perspective is honestly super super simple we are simply going to put the tight end on a uh, little flat route um, if you don't want to put the tight end on a flat route then you can put him on a delay fade um, and then we're going to take that square receiver, Mike Evans. We're going to put him on a smart routed in route. And what we're going to do is we're going to motion him to the left. Now, you could either put him on that smart routed in route, or you could also put him on a curl route. That's up to you. Either one will be very effective. And then I do like to go ahead and restreak Antonio Brown, the solo receiver, just like this. So you see, this is kind of what the play looks like. Um, with your running back, I would also recommend putting him on an out route. So really, we're only calling this play for the crossing route. It's such a deep crossing route. And when we run this crossing route from the short side of the field to the wide side of the field, it's going to be able to get over the top of the 30-yard cloud flat zone adjustment that a lot of people are using right now in Madden 22. So you see, this is kind of my favorite little concept here. I'm going to motion this guy just a step or two, snap the ball, and what you're going to see is this crosser is absolutely insane. As you can see, it gets it's a huge crossing route. Um, it's going to literally, I think, I'm trying to think of the numbers off this, but it's... Um, I think it's at least a 40 yard crosser when it's able to run from the short side to the wide side. So that's what makes this such an effective concept. Now, I want to show you uh, some of the other reads on this play. And again, like I said, a lot of people that I've been playing right now are running this Tampa 2 double flat style of defense. And so this is a really good play for that. If you want to leave this wheel to the left side, you certainly can. Um, but I don't like to do that out of this in particular setup. I like to do that out of a different one. So anyways, um, all that to say, you're going to see here, we're going to do this very simple concept, but I absolutely love this. This is such a great spacing uh, play for my offense. You see here, this is what the play art looks like. I'm just going to snap this guy just a little bit. And oftentimes those double flats, they never are going to be able to cover the curl route. And that's why I love this so much because... Um, let me show you real quick. So I've got Tampa 2. And if you look at the slot corner here, he's in a default vert hook. Now, most people in Madden right now are putting their vertical hooks. They're leaving them to default, and they're letting them do what they do because they stop a lot of those slot uh, curl routes. They stop a lot of slant routes, stuff like that. But when you motion this curl, when you motion the curl... Um, just a step or two outside the numbers, you're going to see that it is going to get in a really unique position. That yellow zone will drift to the inside, and you can low ball that for an easy, uh, an easy check down read. Now, the other thing that I like about this, and this is where you can kind of use your own discretion. If you're playing a lot of Mabel coverage, meaning your opponent is running a lot of the double flat, you don't have to put the running back on the out route. You can feel free to leave the running back on his default route. If they don't blitz, he's going to check out and do this little hitch against zone coverage. As you see, it's very effective. 
What I like about the option route that the running back is on is let's say that it's man-to-man. The, the running back is honestly probably the best route on this play for man coverage. Obviously, the crosser will be effective, but it takes it a little bit. And you'll see against man coverage, that running back is just going to toast it and get wide open against the defense. So this is a simple play. It truly is a very simple uh, concept, but I cannot underestimate and undersell to you the importance of throwing this motion out curl. Um, it is really, truly one of the most important routes from this formation because it puts them in a position defensively where they can't just play Mabel, 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 Mabel. And honestly, they also can't play match. Um, one of the things that I think a lot of people are going to be doing over the course of the next couple weeks in Madden is you're going to see a lot more match coverage. This crosser from left to right absolutely torches it, as you can see. So if they're going to stop the crossing route, so if they're going to use her, um, the crossing route to try to slow that down, then what you're going to notice is now your curl route on the left side here, low ball, easy pass and catch for an easy 10 yards against this coverage. And again, if you want to put that guy on a smart route and in route, you certainly can. I just think that if they're using those vertical hooks, it does not always do the best against that adjustment. It's more of a, it's, I would put that in route out there if, if you were thinking they might be in man coverage. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. This is a really simple concept, but it's a great play from short side bunch that's going to help you move the ball really easily against any defense in the game. And if you're watching this video and you want to get probably the best offense of all time in Madden, I would, I would say the gun bunch is the best offense. And if you want to learn the entire system um, for how I run the gun bunch, not just out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook, but you'll be able to learn this out of every single playbook uh, that has the gun bunch, the best plays available to bunch. We break down in the guide. So we have plays and concepts from Carolina, from Seattle, from Indianapolis, from Washington, and so on and so forth. So if you want to get the entire gun bunch offense, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. You can get the entire offense for just $15. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the guide just head on down to the description click that link it'll take you right over the website and we'll get you all squared away